Right now. What's going on y'all, it's your boy AB and we are back with another video. So today we are going to be doing another unboxing, another product review from a DHgate seller. This seller is not directly on DHgate, although they might be directly on DHgate, I don't know, but they reached out to me via WhatsApp. I'm only saying that this seller is a DHgate seller because they are a Chinese seller who absolutely could be on DHgate. DHgate also has sellers that do not do business directly on DHgate but they will ask you to send you a message through WhatsApp because that's easier for them to communicate with us and it's a faster method of communication. That being said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can notify when I make my next video. Um, let's go ahead and get right into this unboxing. So I do have a package here. It is a, I did already open it up just because when I received it, it came so fast that I was not expecting it to be what it was. I didn't know what it was because it came so fast. I had to open it up and it has so many other boxes. I had to open it up so I could see what it was. So this is a bag. So it's a saddle, not a saddle bag. It's a cross, it's a bag, it's a bag, okay? The bag from a DHgate seller. Let's go ahead and open it up. Um, so it did come in a box package like this. The box did not come in the best condition as you can see, but it does have plenty of bubble wrap and everything in there. So it definitely did keep the bag protected. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take the bag out of the box. Here it is. Like I said, I did already open it up so I can see what it is. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. It does come in a bag, plastic bag as well. And I'm gonna turn it around and y'all gonna see exactly what kind of bag it is. It's a Louis Vuitton. It's a Louis Vuitton. Let's go ahead and take it out of the wrapping. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they have in here. So we do have a nice little receipt. Here is a receipt here. You can't see it because the lighting is so crazy, but it, oh, maybe it's just nothing on that side. There was nothing on that side. So this is the receipt, nice little China receipt here. Um, take this out of the bag here. Here is a nice uh, receipt from Louis Vuitton. Does have information on there. It does say this bag is 16,800 yen. That is in yen, 16,800 yen. Does have a little envelope in here, a Louis Vuitton envelope. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what's inside here. So I feel like this is a, another receipt. The Floozy Vuitton store. Does have nice little information on there. Little barcode, y'all can scan that. I'm not gonna do it. Let me know what it says. So here's the bag. Here is the bag. It does come in not the best quality dust bag, but it does have a dust bag nonetheless. Um, it does have like a little barcode on there or whatever that I'm telling you right now would definitely not on a real Louis Vuitton. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what we got. Here it is. Ooh. So we do have a Louis Vuitton NBA collab. This is very nice. This is very nice. Um, just looking at it off rip, very nice. Stitching looks on point. Colors look on point. Proportions look on point as far as the insignias. Like I keep telling y'all in all these videos, designer brands pride themselves in symmetry and evenness. As long as the pattern looks even and symmetrical, nobody's gonna know. <laughs> nobody's gonna know. So here's the front of the bag. It does have NBA in the corner there with the Louis Vuitton symbol all around. It does say Louis Vuitton Paris right there as well. Here is the back bag, nice symmetry. This is very, very, very nice. Here's the side here. It does have red accents along our buckles there. It does say Louis Vuitton on the hardware, very nice. The other side has the same thing. Um, the zipper hardware also has Louis Vuitton on it. Another thing about Louis Vuitton, authentic wise, never. This would never be on it. The, the, the wrappings around the hardware, the styrofoam or whatever around the butt, this strap, they would never do this. A real Louis Vuitton store would never do this. But this ain't a real Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it feels very good though. Smells really good. It's giving me, it's giving me leather. It's not giving me genuine leather, but it's giving me leather nonetheless. Very nice. I love the white here. This is so nice. Let me take the strap out. So you can take a look at the strap. I don't know why they do this. 
Like if y'all want it to be authentic, then you probably shouldn't do things like this. <laughs> this is not okay. I like I don't want to have to do this, to be honest, but <sighs> here we are doing it. All right, nice blue strap. This strap is blue. I like it, it's, it fits. Crossbody strap, blue to match the NBA here. I feel like the red accents on the side is also to match the NBA. Let me go ahead and take the plastic off the hardware here. Yo, this plastic is super hard to get off, man. Like, why would they do this? Here, all the little buckles. Why would they do this? Okay, I think I got all the plastic off. Yes, I got all the plastic off. So let's look at the hardware here. Like I said, Louis Vuitton is on the hardware. Nice gold finish. Um, the zipper's also gold. Does have Louis Vuitton along the top, which is great. I love the brown and the white accent with the blue and the white and the red for the NBA. Take a look at that NBA symbol. It's nice. Um, you take a look at that stitching. The stitching around it is actually pretty perfect, which is great. I love perfectness. Especially when you're trying to do something you're not supposed to be doing, like making fake Louis Vuittons. Um, let's go ahead and open her up. Um, it does feel like it has something on the inside so it can keep its shape, which is great. They do have the big blocks on the inside to keep its shape. If I can get them out, some of those. Has a couple of them in there. Oh, it also has a pocket on the back. I didn't even see that. Ooh, nice inside pocket with the blue inside. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inside here. It does have the blue lining on the inside. It does say LV NBA right there. Try to get as close as I can. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. The stitching on it looks pretty nice on the inside. We do have a little, oh, I guess this is a extra one of, oh, it's not extra. So this, you know how you got something for your shoulder this goes on the strap to you know give you a little bit more oomph on your shoulder you feel me this also has a little I don't know what you would call this a tag that also has NBA Louis Vuitton on there if you can see I really like this with the gold accents as well very nice I like this I don't know where I would put this where this is supposed to go on the bag maybe just on like maybe one of the um, zippers I'm not sure where this is supposed to go or maybe just like over here I'm not sure where this is supposed to go um so let's get back to the inside the inside we do have two pockets on the inside it does have some more information, um, cards and everything on the inside there. Um, it doesn't have any other pockets besides the two pockets. It does have like a little lint in there. Not lint, but like some of the styrofoam came off in there as I was trying to take it out. Um, decent size bag. Decent size bag, nice and deep. Nice and deep, ample space for sure. Very nice. And even taking out the styrofoam, it's holding its shape very nicely. I really like that. Let's go ahead and open up the front zipper. Um, does some more uh, styrofoam in there to cover shape the front zipper does not have anything special in there it's actually just its own pocket on its own which is nice I like that yeah man I, I think that's that's about it that is about it for this bag bottom I don't think I showed y'all the bottom just it's the evenness for me it's the it's the symmetry you know like I said these big brands they pride themselves in everything being nice and even the insignia is nice it's not cut off anywhere it's not you know showing like half of anything like that everything is perfect everything is perfect nice and even down the middle this is this is very nice this is very nice Louis Vuitton NBA bag I will put all the information for this bag in the description box below like I said it is a crossbody um so I would just throw it on crossbody like this here is the bag on I'm not I can't I mean I could do more I could show you better if I have more places to put my camera but this is what the bag is going to be looking like while it's strapped you got this uh side Crossbody strap, um, bag on the side. It's a decent size bag, y'all. It's a decent size bag. I'm not gonna beat you. Decent size bag. Um, you can put plenty of things in there just because of the size. Like it's huge. It's a huge bag. It is very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to wear it. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but it's dope. It's dope. I love it. All right, y'all. So that is all we have for this video today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can notify when I'm making my next video. And it's your boy AB, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.